Uh, welcome everybody uh, to episode 5 and as this last patch gave us we get milestone as soon as we enter in again but here we go so uh, so yeah let's get to it we're earning some profits at least so this one's going to be a pretty feature packed episode as we're going to really concentrate on transport. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in some uh, public transport buses mainly uh, to try and get, you know, I, I guess some of these high rent issues out of our city because size of the plot shouldn't be a difference now. Land value is a bit higher. But the main issue is our, our sims, or the ones that are struggling, uh, at a, uh, have a wealth of wretched or very poor. So hopefully, a bit of a bus service might help. So I'm not that keen on buses, to be fair. I prefer subways and things like that, but let's get to it. the bus stops pretty much done and dusted now I just need to put the lines in so let's hit the line tool and uh, yeah let's create a couple of lines or at least get one going so pick a start point and then just grab as many bus stops as we can let's do it That should finish us off. That's one bus line completed. Not hit every stop there, but we're going to be putting another uh, bus line in to go to the other industrial part. Uh, first industrial part, that is. But we're going to the top one right now, so let's see if that makes a difference probably not going to make a difference straight away so we'll have to give it some time and what we got down here oh, looks like we got a uh, condemned hmm. so i'm not sure why that was condemned didn't say abandoned looks like all the uh Looks like all the zones in sync. I'll just delete it anyway. Not a big concern for me right now. Right, let's get back to it. So, we put this bus line in. Let's uh, see, have we made any difference? That's showing poor. Was that wretched before? I'm not sure. I mean, the guys are still happy. Oh, no, that's wretched there, so... But they're still happy, so... Yeah, I'm 100% that's not a bug, but... It could be something else. We haven't got a hospital yet, so medical could still be an issue. Who knows? Anyway, let's check our bus route. So, usage is zero. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll give it some time anyway. Uh, I think we'll take the buses right down. 
don't need that many. We just have four. We'll keep the price the same, I think. Um, let's see. We'll call it... We'll call it the, the colour it is. We'll call it the blue line. That should work. Let's uh, let's create another one and get to the other the other industrial area linked in as well. That, that's one done as well. So we got both industrial areas looped in there. So let's go and tidy this one up. So what color should we give it? Uh, let's give it a red. We call it the red line. Should work. Um, let's whack that right back down again for the number of buses. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just let it tick over and see what happens. Nice one. So it'll give us some time, some time for it to uh, to gel in to see if it works. I was never a fan of buses, to be honest, even in CS One. Never had that much, you know, invested in them, to be honest. But I think... I think I'm going to put a taxis in this one as well. And this, this, this should fill in any gaps. So let's see if we can put that in the same location as the bus depot. Now, I'm going to put this uh, as a dispatcher upgrade straight away. You know, because that means you... The taxis can go out and pick up anywhere. They don't need taxi stands. However, I think I'm still going to add some taxi stands anyway, and that should raise some happiness, I think. We don't technically need them, according to the tooltip. But I'll do it anyway. So let's just, let's just pick some locations, you know, uh, that we've not yet covered. So let's put one here at the at the shops whoops let's put one down here instead at sort of the back of the shops and cover these uh residential at the back here and let's put one at the school let's put one at the school then any of the rich folks can uh, send the kids by taxi. Let's put one at the uni as well, I think. That should work. Uh, but the officers here, you'd think they'd use taxis quite a bit. Uh, let's have a look. Perhaps another one here on this other half of the residential. And let's put something down here in the in our first industrial area. And then as we head up to our other one, we'll put you get some of the offices here as well, I think. And then somewhere here. Uh probably at the top of these farmlands here, and then they can walk to wherever quite easily. That should do it, I think. 
Right. No, we do have some. Well, we've had some complaints for health, so let's let's do this and get the hospital down. It should go nice about here, I think. Yeah, that should get uh, our health completely fixed, I think. There's a few upgrades I can do on that, but I'll leave that for now, I think. You know, the trauma center, specialized treatment ward, and a helipad. Must admit, I'm tempted for the helipad, but... We're doing all right for cash. Helipad might be handy. But leave it for now and just see what happens, I think. Right. The next step for us now is to think about our industry and eventually our, our public transport. We need to put a rail line in, so... So our rail is up here at the top end, so we need to get it down to our city boundary. So I'm thinking of going all the way down the highway here. Or the motorway if you're in the UK. So let's have a look to what we've got. So let's get... I think I'll just do a single one down. So let's just get a bridge over the... Uh, over the highway, somewhere. Yeah, it's probably going to come in that direction. I want it on this side, so it's so it'll need to cross over twice. I know, but I think it'll be easier for us in the long run. I think that looks about level with where I want the road where I want to follow the road, so... Right, let's put a bit of a bend on it a little. I think I might need to just... Will I be able to do this without... Open up another tile. I think I'm probably going to need another tile opening. See if I can get it down to ground at least. What's my... Uh, oh, it's not so bad gradient, 0.9. It's not bad really. But yeah, I'm going to need to open that tile up, I think. Just the one should do us. Okay, now let's... Back to our rail tool. Make sure we're off zero, go straight up. Now just bend it around a bit so it's on an angle. There you go, now go straight up to here. Straight up, left click, and then just drag it out so it's a reasonable curve. Do the same again, make sure it's straight. Left click, or this 180. And then just go so it's reasonable. That should do, I think. Yeah, looks all right. Right, let's uh, let's get this track heading off down the down the highway there. Yeah, right, let's do it. Okay, that's all uh, in. Well, roughly anyway. So let's see where are we going to take this off from here. So. That seems a reasonable location, perhaps. I don't want a school. I want that so I want. So, oh, free farm again. Take it off about here, I think. Just a small little bit. And then start to raise it up a little bit. 
Just a little. Trying to keep the gradient down to reasonable. And I'm going to want to get roughly around seven and a half meters. That's all. Which is good enough for us to get over the highway. You need a bit more the other way around. I think it's about eight and a half to, for, the, for the road to get over the rail. Just level it up to reasonably flat, point one, that should do it. Okay. Right, now I need to prepare the land. And I'm going to send it right down, right down there, so... Let's see if we can uh, do a bit of terrain work along here. Okay, that's all nice and straight for us. So let's see what I could do with actually just building a road, I think, from here just to give us a line to, to get to. So that should work from there. Right, now I just need to bring the rail and, uh, and connect it to, uh, back to the existing rail at the, uh, at the other end of this, uh, this line. excellent yeah we got a good connection there i think and we pretty much got you know a line at both ends of the uh, cities here so so that's good excellent so we'll be able to take a spur off that and uh bring that into the city i'll probably put a train station for the public in this area here i think uh Cargo will obviously go up near near the industry. So let's see what I can do. Just just uh just bring that down a bit so it's reasonable. Let's just see if we can create a little ramp going up here. Now let's get 
this road just going up to roughly the beginning. I want this to follow on. I want this to be sort of like really next to the rail track. So we'll test how straight we've got this. Yeah, that too. Doesn't look too bad. I think it's a little off, but no, it looks all right from this direction. So yeah, that should work. I think this area will, will all be the built-up area. Uh, so we'll have the high density once they're unlocked, and we'll have. Some other stuff up here as well. Uh, might be have some businesses, especially if once we unlock the high density business as well. And the high density, uh, this will be like a, a mini city up here before we eventually go down and do the full downtown, which is uh, further down on the map there. So. Yeah, I think we should uh Yeah, you know, let me think about it and then uh in the meantime let's go and decide where we're gonna put our rail yard because we need the rail yard before we get the station. So down that way we're gonna be doing the the downtown our uh, next build once this is all built out but need to i'm probably going to put the rail yard somewhere on this 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 line here probably here actually because we've got to get to it we've got to get our workers to it it does take some employees and it's huge so i don't want it in the city so i think here would work So I do need to get the road to it, which probably will take one of these roads. Let's have a look to see how big we're talking here. It's huge. But one of these, uh, the double line is going to be a part of our main line coming down anyway, so it's going to be really integrated into the into the I'm not I'm not taking it outside and I'm going to actually make it part of the main rail the main line so yeah definitely something around here I think I mean we might put it there or thereabouts and then just redraw the rail line a bit. But yeah, I definitely think it's going to be better being part of the, the rail. Okay. Let's decide where it's going. Snow's going. Th thank heavens for that. <laughs> Because it's a pain building with the snow. It's so dazzling. Looks nice, but it's a pain in the ass when you're trying to build on it. Especially you can't see the contours. But hey, snow's going. So I think where that snow is melting now, I think that's roughly where it's going to be. Looks like the best area for it. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's going to be in that area. It's going to be pretty tight, but... But we'll make it work, I think. So I think we'll use this roundabout here as our entrance. 
So we'll take it out, uh, we'll not take it that far, just a little bit. Now we'll put a bit of a slope on it. Too much slope, take it down, get it to 7.5. Right, let's build it out.
happy with that. Very happy with that. So what we need to do now is uh, obviously connect the uh, the other parts of the rail yard and uh, and yeah, get it going. You know, I'm a bit happier with the bridge and that. Yeah. That's a little bit of a kink in it there. I'm not sure about keeping that, but... Uh, I'm not sure about that bridge now, though, because what I'm thinking is... I'm thinking I might... I might get rid of this, and I'm going to dual track it, because I think having that extra track going to downtown would work. So let's build this out as a dual track. with that now much much happier with that right that's all good I think what we'll do now is do a little bit of uh, building out here
so I think that's uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, uh, give me a like, and throw me a comment. Until then, I will uh, see you on the next uh, next episode. See you again soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>